Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss briefly one of the most important topic of exams, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. Let's dive in. This syndrome is an autoimmune condition in which antibodies develop against proteins that bind to the cell membrane's phospholipids. These antiphospholipid antibodies in the serum predispose the patient to venous and arterial thrombosis, thrombocytopenia, and recurrent fetal loss. Antiphospholipid syndrome can occur either as a primary disease or can be secondary to another autoimmune disease, most commonly SLE. What are the clinical characteristics of this disease? The disease is characterized by clot, which is a mnemonic for characteristic features of this syndrome. Where C stands for coagulation defect, that is, thrombosis, both arterial and venous. These thrombotic events are usually unprovoked and affect cerebral, renal, and other vessels. Then, L stands for liveto reticularis. O is for obstetric complications, such as recurrent abortions and miscarriages. T stands for thrombocytopenia. Which antibodies are found in antiphospholipid antibody syndrome? The antibodies which are found in this disease are lupus anticoagulant, anticardiolipin antibodies, and anti beta 2 glycoprotein 1 antibodies. If all three antibodies are present, the patient is said to be triple positive, and such patients have more severe disease. Diagnosis of the disease depends on the persistent presence of antiphospholipid antibodies, that is, positive at least twice, 12 weeks apart, with clinical features of thrombosis or recurrent fetal loss. What is the treatment? The treatment is with anticoagulation, usually lifelong in those with recurrent thromboses. Aspirin can be used as a primary prevention in a pregnant patient with positive antiphospholipid antibodies. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. Please press the like button if you have found this video useful and subscribe to our channel.